Hi everybody, again, it's me, Charles Norman, Sports Solutions LLC. We are the creators of Athletic SOS. And so it is a software that will allow you, if your kid is trying to get an athletic scholarship, we will take their academic information, the sport they play, the level they can participate at, and the area of the country that they're looking at, and we'll show them all the schools they academically qualify to attend that have their sport at that level, and then they're gonna do their research. And so the next time they go to a combine or a showcase or a viewing tournament, those coaches will come to see them because they know that that kid is interested in their school and now they're interested in that that kid and so that's how we want to connect people together and so as always I at the bottom of this video uh, in the description I always give you a code I give you uh, instructions on how to use the code absolutely no cost for you to use and then lately I've been putting a QR code up in these videos so that you can just use that QR code it'll take you to the uh, page on that page um, you can see a brief video of what the software does and then you can make your decision whether or not to uh, go ahead and register and join us and become a member of Athletic SOS. So in this one, what I wanted to do was um, we're starting to get towards uh, the, the end of the year. And so we have a lot of kids that may have missed out on that early signing period. And so we're going to start going into the December month and then we're going to come out the other side. And there's going to be a lot of seniors that are a little bit um, wary of where they're going to end up. And so we want to talk about what are some of the things you need to do or things you need to know to give yourself the best chance possible of getting an athletic scholarship. And we want to do that with the younger kids too. So we're going to do it three ways. One, we're going to talk about that senior that may have some schools already looking at them and they feel like they have something going on there, right? So they've got some schools that's been a little bit of back and forth. You're just trying to figure out uh, what next. Then we're going to talk about the kid that uh, maybe you're a 10th grader, 11th grader. Uh, you're, things are moving along pretty good for you. Maybe you don't have that many schools looking. Maybe you haven't um, necessarily even uh, made varsity, but you can feel yourself moving towards where you're going to go. And you believe you have the skill set to play at the next level. What should you be working on right now? And then finally, we're going to have that kid that um, it's starting to come to the realization they're really good at what they do, probably can play at the next level, maybe not at the D1 level um, at NCAA, but somewhere in there you mix in. And so what should you be thinking about if you want to still try to see if you can get uh, the opportunity to play at the collegiate level? So let's start with the first kid. So you're a senior right now. Uh, or maybe you're a junior, a high level player, and you've got some interest. Some schools have been sending you letters, you've talked to some of the assistant coaches. Something feels like it might be there, but as a senior, you haven't connected all the way. No one's made the offer. And as a junior, um, it still feels pretty good. So here's the question, and, and as I'm saying this, yes, parents, I understand. You guys should be asking what, what the majors, um, what's the housing situation there? Uh, what's, what kind of kids are they bringing in? Those kind of things. Those are the things that you should be doing once you get past this initial question. And it's the question no one ever asks, and I don't know why, and is where do I sit on your, uh, your, your list? Every college, I don't care how many letters they send out, I don't care what else, how many phone calls they make, how many inv invitations they make to come visit and all that, they've got a list, they got a hierarchy. So for your position, so all you want to say is, hey, for my position, how many kids are you recruiting? How many kids are you recruiting overall this year you think you're going to be bringing in? And then where do I sit at my position for your recruiting? You need to know that information. You're not asking in a demanding way. You just want the information. Because what you need to do now is start to whittle down that list. What are the schools that are really, really, really after me that I'm apprised? Not the schools that, okay, you're our backup. If we don't get this kid, we don't get that kid. We will take you because we need somebody in, in the slot here because they could come back next year and recruit over you. So you want to be you want to be a prize is, is what you're trying to look for. But you also just want to know where you stand. If you're in the top three, you're in pretty good shape. A lot of times the schools don't get their top kid because a lot of schools, especially if you're looking out of the area, those schools try to uh, those kids have other schools in that area where they also may be looking. So there may be a tug of war there. And if they've got three kids in the same position they're looking at, they're not really sure about uh, uh, kid number one. Maybe they're a little more certain about kid number two, but definitely if you're in the top three, you wanna go ahead and keep that school on your list. So that's for you guys. You wanna know, hey, where do I stand in relation to everyone else that you're gonna be recruiting, the number of kids you're gonna be recruiting, and, and, and where am I? So, and they're usually really honest with you. One thing that I found is that the college coaches won't won't lie to you. They'll be a little bit evasive, but they, they won't lie to you. So you have to read around that. But you need to get that first before you start looking at all the other questions you should ask. So um, so that's one. 
So that's for you guys. That's those seniors, and then those are the, the juniors that really are at a high level, and they've got a lot of interest. You need to start weeding some people out. Number two, you're a freshman, you're a sophomore, you're a junior, and you can feel you're up and coming. You kind of got it going on. Maybe you're on JV the first year, or maybe you're on varsity, but maybe you're not starting yet, but you can, you, you're coming. It's going to be there, and you can play at that level. What you need to do now is, and I don't care where you have to go to do this, you need to start uh, uh, competing against kids that can play at that level you think you're supposed to be. If it's D1, D2, and you need to get, you need to rank yourself against those kids. Are they bigger, are they faster, are they stronger, are they more skilled? What are they doing? And you'll quickly know where you uh, belong, where you, where you are in that uh, chopping order. And so you want to get your game up so that you're as good as anybody else there, and if can be, better as you move forward. What are you going to work on? You don't know that if you're just playing against the kids at your school and you're better than a lot of the kids. Even if they're your friends, even if they're your teammates. I know you guys are playing really hard, you're great friends, you work out really hard, you're doing everything right, but you have to get out. And what you want to do if you can, you want to play against them or compete against them at, the, uh, at, at a sort of a relaxed level. You don't want to necessarily have to be at a camp or something like that. If you can get some pickup games or if you can go work out in the gym or you can find out where pro level players or college level players are already working out, that's where you want to be. You want to see the level you need to be at to get where you need to get to. And so, and then, um, you know, then you can do the, the camps and the combines and all of those kind of things. But you need to know for yourself, be honest with yourself, where am I? Do I fit? These are D1 level athletes. I'm out here. I think I'm going to be a D1 athlete. Where do I need to get to? You'll see quickly where you are in the chopping block. And here's the other thing I want you guys to do. If you get an opportunity to work out with these people, especially if you get a chance to compete against them, just in a casual, just let's see where I, I, I sit, please do it as much as you can, as much as they'll allow you to. Sometimes they don't want you know the, the younger kids around, but if you can get in that world, um, try to do it. And this is why those ex-college uh, players and uh, ex-professional players, kids, seem so far ahead of everybody else. They get a chance to play against the best of the best, to work out against them. That speed, that quickness, that reaction time, all of that is because they're playing somebody so far ahead and they're letting them come along with them. And you don't get that as, as a player that doesn't have those other things backing you up. So that's that second player, right? You want to see where do I fit? Where do I where do, where do do I stand against players at the level that I want to get to? So you need to start working on that. And then the last one is, is the kid you realize at some point, maybe you're uh, whatever sport you're playing, maybe you're not as big or fast as the top, top, top players, but you still got enough juice. You got something about you that can still get you there. And you're trying to figure out, here's what you need to do. You need to see where you fit in. You may be the, the frost soft team and you need to make varsity. Uh, you could be on varsity and you're good. Maybe you're not a starter, but you get a lot of playing time because of your hustle, because of your, your, your uh, knowledge of the game. Whatever it is that you've got going, you got to figure out where do I slot in? What do I need to do to make me someone that a college coach at whatever level would be interested in bringing me in, even though I don't have some of the other things. I have these intangibles and I can't t quite tell you what it is. You got to find out where's that? Where's that space I can fit in at this sport? Usually for these players, I like to say this all the time, and that's why I'm working so much for the five to nine year olds and the, and the 10 to 12 year olds. You took the wrong sport. You're still a great athlete. You still can do things. But if you would have went to a different sport that you probably don't even know about, you don't even know which one that is, you probably would be top of the line. But you're still good enough to get there. We don't want to stop now. So if you want to get there anyway, you got to figure out where you fit in, man. You got, or young lady, whichever is thinking about this. Where can I slot myself in? What is needed that I can concentrate on, I can focus on, and be the best at that? And then you want to get a reputation for that. Hey, this kid is this, is known for this, is this, a defensive player, a, a rebounder for basketball, a, a great blocking running back, um, a, a possession receiver, uh, uh, whatever it is, the sport that you're playing. You want to make sure that you have a reputation for that. If you need this, bring this kid in, Give them some money, put them on the team. Maybe you're not going to be the collegiate superstar, but maybe you get money to go and you get to continue playing and you get to continue improving and maybe something will click somewhere else. All right, guys. So I just wanted to get this one out. You know, we're getting towards closer to the end of the year and I want to make sure this got out to you guys so you have something to work on, right? So where do I stand for that D1 kid, uh, the high level player? You know you're going to go somewhere, you've got tons of offers. Where do I stand so you can start weeding out and start concentrating on some schools to make sure you can get yourself an offer? And then you can ask, okay, what do you need from me to get me 
to, to the offer once you've decided which school you're interested in. And then that other kid that, that's up and coming, you know you're going to be getting there, you, you know this is going to happen for you, and so for you, you want to see where you stand against all your competition. So you want to go and play against the best of the best. If you got to travel a little bit, if you got to go get a certain trainer and pay a little bit more to be with that trainer so you can be in that world. But if you can get some pickup games, if you can get some uh, workouts with some kids at the higher level or if you can find out and just just try to google around look on look on the internet and see if you can find out where some of the uh the best athletes in your area where do they work out what gym do they go to kind of mimic go over there and introduce yourself see if they'll let you work out with them tell them what you're trying to do and see if they'll help you out and so you want to be in that world where athletes are much better than you and you got to raise your game to get there so you're trying to figure that one out and then finally for you the athlete that uh, is realizing that maybe you're not going to get to the tip top, but you think you can get there. You, you're, you're good enough. You're, you're playing. Then you got to figure out where you fit in. You got to figure out what that looks like and what it is you want to do to get yourself a offer at some point. So those are the things I wanted to work with you guys on. Software is absolutely free. Find the school that fits you, and then let them know you're interested. They will come out to see you. And then. Um, for high school coaches, for travel club coaches, if you guys are interested, go ahead and reach out to me. Um, you can go at info at athleticsos.com. And if you already have a program, it's up and running, and you want to try to use the software, I'll set something up for you so you can see the kids that um, you're working with, and you guys can start working together because your credibility for that kid, for that first initial outreach to a college coach, can make all the difference in the world. So we want you guys to be able to do that without having to do the search for them, having to find the schools for them, that you're just going to be there to assist them and then we're going to let those kids because I want our kids to learn how to do that research to figure out where they want to be so you know our, our line here is always the same your sport is what you do it's not who you are so I want them to keep playing but I want them to also think of themselves as more than just that athlete all right guys as always best of luck to all of you in all your endeavors again I got the QR code it should still be sitting up here somewhere I don't know decide to put it on and then uh, down below if you don't see it or you can't get to that QR code I give you a code and I give you instructions you can use the software absolutely no cost all right talk to you guys later uh, next week we got some cool stuff so if you can if you want to subscribe to us um, I, I love that we're growing really fast you guys are the best um, a lot of people are starting to use the code which means my my consistency um, of making sure I do these videos weekly um, is making a big difference you guys are starting to trust that I am in it for your benefit not necessarily for mine and that I want the best for you guys no matter what okay talk to you guys later bye